Hey guys, how's it going? It's Razium here, and today I wanted to try something different with this video, but first, I uh, just want to say thank you for the positive feedback on the last few videos. It truly means a lot. My goal with this channel is to just have fun, and in the near future I plan to make more edits like that, so stay tuned and thank you again. So what I want to do with this video today is add some commentary over some of my favorite weapon and Ash of War combinations. Of course, this will only be a few out of many, so you can expect more videos like this. Um, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first one I want to get into here is my personal favorite, and that's the Iron Greatsword, and pairing it up with the Impaling Thrust Ash of War. This combo can be pretty deadly, as the Iron Greatsword has high AR, uh, especially with the Heavy Affinity, which I will show stats at the end for that. But the Impaling Thrust Ash of War can lead to some great change-ups and is quite the roll catcher. As you can see, it can catch people off guard and has nice tracking after the latest patch. So I highly recommend this one and the next few clips will kind of be showcasing this um, and then we'll move on to the next one. So this next clip actually showcases two different weapons in Ashes of War, just because I thought this sequence was pretty sick. So the Dragon Halberd has the Spinning Slash Ash of War, however this one is buffed with Ice Lightning, adding 130 lightning damage and 80 frost buildup for 20 seconds. As we all know, status effects are really overpowered in this game, so I found this one to be a good addition to my arsenal. Next you'll see me swapping to the Golem's Heavy Halberd, which it is a colossal weapon, so it's quite slow, but paired with the Trolls Roar Ash of War makes for a pretty solid roll catch. Next up we have literally a giant pointy stick, also known as a pike, and paired it with the Repeating Thrust Ash of War. I mean look at the range on that thing, and the speed, not bad. And last, but certainly not least, we have one of my favorite weapons, the Gargoyle's Halberd. And I've paired it with the Phantom Slash Ash of War, which got an incredible buff in patch 107. Ouch. As you can see, the tracking on this thing has just become insane. Whereas before, it was virtually useless. Well, there you have it, folks. A showcase of some of my favorite weapons in Ashes of War. This will not be the last, and I hope you enjoyed the format of this. But anyways, here are the stats that I'm running on my main build. All of the affinities of the weapons that I was using today were of the heavy affinity. So if that's something you're willing to try out, please do. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.